Hello everyone, welcome to Codectors online session of the Hour of Code. My name is Uspari. I'm here with you to help you next one hour of your coding career. The Hour of Code, this is the largest educational event in the history. Many people is a part of this and they are promoting Hour of Code. It starts from the President Barack Obama, Nobel laureates Maral Subjai, many famous actor players also part of this. Here, the Coder Trust is feeling proud to be a part of this. We are also organizing this event some other places. It starts from Bangladesh, Kenya, Somaliland and also in India. We gathered more than 5,000 students to be a part of Out of Code. Yes, the man, Jacob Bach, he also talking about the Out of Code. He is talking about the universal truth, like it will be a universal language for the next generation that's why we have to start it earlier and it's a it can be the key of the future career Aston Kutcher he is talking about the mission of computer science computer science it has to be started from the early stage like compared to other subject biology chemistry algebra or in Bangladesh like Bangla English is similar type and it should be mandatory for all school and now the big question comes you know now the world is dominating by technology so we have to be part of this and we have to know how to get skills yes Coda Trucks, here is the solution Coda Trucks is bringing the solution to you what is this like training the next generation of IT freelance talent all over the world now Coda Trust is a global company and we are working to create the freelancer in all over the world this company from Copenhagen in Denmark now it has the operational head office in Bangladesh also other office in India Kenya Somaliland we are also looking forward to Kosovo Palestine Egypt and some other places as well and there's the DNA the DNA is like education job market and capital and we're working as a breeze you know the current situation is like all over the world there are 16 million outsourcer or the freelancers working but on 2020 it will be 160 million so here is the gap we are working to fill up this gap the more details about our program and the earning curve you know it starts from the skill level and it ends with your earning how do we start you can see like some skills uh, in this area it starts from web development, uh, like web front end, uh, development back end. Also, there's Android. So we teach the skills, even the software skill, how to get job, how to bid, how to communicate, convince the client, and finally how to get money from the marketplace. Yeah, there are the very simple three steps to success. One is like get selected, get trained, and get employed. So, what we should do? Yes, now there's some very successful stories among all our students, 70%. They have got their job and they're working uh, for several projects from several clients. There is uh, some successful stories here, you can see. And now it comes like the Coda Trust family. It's a very big family and it's a very fantastic family. Lots of people from uh, different places are working here. Uh, it's like uh, Denmark, the founder, and you know the German people, Italian, Ukrainian, Iran, Canada, Bangladesh, India, and some other places as well. So get ready to start. Just complete the out of code and the share your certificate on your Facebook and your event page, and then get started on your coding career and you will, if you want to learn more about us please visit our website www.productors.com to get know more about the courses how we make you the freelancer you will get the lots of details there i think you should just go and visit this yes now we come to the universal truth which is said by Muhammad Ali the icon figure all over the world what he said very straight 
he said impossible is nothing so we are working also for this we believe we know impossible is nothing so it is not late yet if you want to become a freelancer just start with Coda Trust and we will bring you the ultimate success to be a freelancer here's the things man Hello guys, this is Tasneem. Thank you so much Osmani for that amazing introduction to Codus Trust and the RF Code. Now that you guys know what you have to do, it's time to get a jump start on how you have to do it. As you go to the code.org page, you'll notice the start button. As you click on it, a range of different games will appear from which you get to pick your favorite. I will go for the classic maze game. Once the game starts, you can go right ahead and play it. One thing to remember here is that you need no prior experience for the RF code. All you have to do is follow the simple instructions given to you and you're good to go. For example, here all you have to do is pull this block below this and hit run. As you can see, we've completed level 1 already. For level 2, you do exactly the same thing. Hit run. And it's complete. Moving on to the next level. You'll notice here, it's a little different than the other one since you need to turn. So you need a new command block that you have to include here. Move forward again. You have to take a right turn next, so you take the right turn block and then you move forward again and you hit run. <laughs> Continue. Here, the first block is given, you move forward then you take a left turn, move forward once more, then take a right turn, move forward once more. You can look at the workspace to see the number of blocks that you need to complete the task. As you can see, we've completed 6 out of 6 blocks, so you cannot have any more blocks here. And then you hit run. We're in level 5 now. As you can see here, you have to take a right turn at the very beginning. Move forward once. Take a left turn. Move forward three more times. Turn left again. And don't forget to move forward once more. As you can see, we've used 9 out of the 9 blocks that we were supposed to. Hit run. <laughs> then we move to the next level. One thing that can. As you can see, we have a new block here. It says repeat 5 times. Well, what it means is that whatever you put inside this block will be repeated five times. There you go. <laughs> and we're moving to the next level. We're in level 7 now. Here, as you can see, you need to take a right turn at the very beginning. Then you need to move forward five times. Put that here. Hit run. <laughs> and continue. We're on the eighth level. Here, as you can see, you need to move forward, but only four times. 
However, the block says five times. What are we going to do? Simply edit the number, change it to four. Now you can put forward and you'll be moving forward four times. Then you need to take a left turn and move forward five times. Hit run. Night level. Now this gray box means you cannot delete it no matter what. You have to use this block in order to complete this level. Now the interesting part is that you are able to move different kinds of blocks within this block. So what you need here is to move forward twice and then take a right turn. You put move forward twice then you put right turn. You'll notice that this is exactly what you need to be repeated. It's supposed to be repeated three times, so move forward twice, take a right turn, move forward twice, take another right turn, move forward twice. That should do it. We are almost halfway through the hour of code. Every this is probably the easiest level, since all you have to do is put this block here. It says repeat until do, which means repeat until you catch this pig. All you have to do is move forward until grasp it. So hit run. And we're done. Alright guys, it was a lot of fun playing the game with you, but now you're on your own. Pretty sure you can take it from here. So good luck, and like Barack Obama said, don't just play games on your phone, program them. Have a good day everyone, bye bye.